All right, hey y'all, so I'm still in Rome. Today is actually my last day, well, my last full day. I leave tomorrow afternoon. So my friends just left. Um, one of them's heading to Madrid and the other one's heading back to Paris. So I left the Airbnb and I checked into a hotel this morning and I've just been relaxing. I edited and posted a video. Um, but I'm going to give you a quick room tour of the hotel I'm staying in. So it's called SHG Antonella Hotel. And it's really nice. Like, it looks very luxurious. It looks really expensive. But to be honest, I only paid about, I think it was like 50 euros for this room. So I got it for over 60% off, which is nice. I'm only staying for one night. But let me show you. I love the color scheme of the hotel. Like, it's so pretty. So I'm going to show you what we're working with. This is the room. So here we have a little TV. I'm probably not even going to watch TV because it's all in Italian. And then we have a mini fridge here. All this costs money, so, <laughs> you know, don't need that extra charge. We have this nice makeup. This is where I sat to do... <laughs> I said this nice makeup. This nice mirror. This is where I sat to do my makeup. So, I actually... Ooh, my shirt matches the room a little bit. That's cute. And then I have two beds. I'm staying by myself. Um... I didn't know there was going to be two beds in the room. And then there's this huge window. And then there's this cute little couch. I love this couch. And then the lights are really cute as well. And this is what the room looks like. And then we have another mirror here. So this is the bathroom. What I really liked is they gave me a shower cap. And then they have like a vanity set. And they have um, like a shaving set and all that good stuff. So that was really nice. And then <laughs> these showers stress me out because, you know, I do not like to get my hair wet when I take a shower. So taking a shower, it was a little, it actually wasn't difficult. It felt great. Um, but I'm probably going to take a bath tonight. This is the toilet right here. And I really don't know what this is. If y'all know what that is, let me know. I was like, maybe it's for guys, but then I was like, nah, because they could easily just go, and I don't know what it is, so, but yeah, so this is my hotel room, and, you know, what's really annoying right now, the Wi-Fi keeps going in and out, and I was trying to look up stuff to do in the area, hold on, let me set my camera up and talk, okay, so, what's kind of annoying so far is that the Wi-Fi keeps going in and out, and I was trying to look up stuff to do um, in this area, but the Wi-Fi is not working. I called the front desk and they were like, yeah, we'll fix it. It's been like 30 minutes and it's still not working. So that's annoying, but I'm just going to go down to the front desk and ask them what's to do in this area. But this morning was a little complicated because Rome... The way, I haven't used any public transportation here, and I don't mind using public transportation. It's just kind of difficult because everything's in Italian so far. Um, so, yeah. But anyways, this morning when I left the Airbnb, it was ridiculously expensive to get over here to the hotel. I actually ended up paying more for a freaking Uber than I did to stay the night in the hotel. So the Uber was 80 euros, which is like about 90 US dollars. And yeah, so, and the ride was only 30 minutes. So I paid $90 to get to the hotel. And I called my mom because I was really stressed out because I was like, should I just try to find, like try to do, use public transportation? But the area I was staying in, the Airbnb, it like, so it was like on the outskirts of Rome, so it's like in a neighborhood. And to be honest, it wasn't, it doesn't look like a nice area. Like it looks really sketchy. So I wasn't trying to be walking around looking like a tourist with my suitcase and my camera and get got. Because apparently a lot of tourists get robbed. Like not just in Rome, but all throughout Europe. Like it's because it's easy to. A lot of people don't pay attention, so I guess it's easy to rob tourists. But I was like. I guess I'm gonna just pay the $90 to get to the hotel. So I doubt that I'm gonna go back to the center of Rome today because it's way too expensive to get over there unless I can figure out how to use the public transportation at the front desk because that obviously will be way cheaper to take a bus or a train than to take an Uber or a taxi because it's expensive out here. So 
yeah, I'm about to go down to the lobby, see what's up with public transportation or if they have like a shuttle from the hotel or whatever, and I'll keep you an update. If not, if I can't figure it out, I'm just going to stay in the hotel for the rest of the day because this is a nice hotel and I pretty much did everything, seen all the sites, did all that stuff yesterday. So I'm not pressed to do more and I honestly believe I'll be back to Rome pretty soon. So I'm just going with the flow. I really have just been chilling at the hotel all day. This hotel is really nice and this is a vacation so I'm not pressed to do the most. Like I'm in Rome, I'm enjoying myself. I went downstairs and ate a little snack earlier. I had like a little salami sandwich and some chips. I forgot to film it but um, to be honest, I have been feeling under the weather. Like I've been blowing my nose and sneezing like every two minutes. So that's kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, I've just been binge watching the Taylor Girls YouTube videos. I've actually, I've heard of them before, but I've actually never seen any of their content and I freaking love them. Like their pranks on their mom and dad has me weak. Their family is so cute. It really makes me want a sister so bad. <laughs> oh my God. Crying that the lights just shut off on me. I forgot that I got to keep this thing in here for the lights to stay on. Because I was getting ready to go downstairs. I was about to go downstairs to get some food. And I just started ranting. But anyways, yeah, this vlog is probably boring. Y'all like, Rome where? Like, I don't see no Rome. Well, y'all see this nice hotel. Um, but yeah, I'm about to get some food. But yeah, if you can hear it in my voice, like, I feel kind of sick. And I feel like I sound kind of sick. But... Yeah, I'm going to get some food. I really want some pizza, but I don't know if they have pizza here. I might order some at the front desk because I was trying to order some earlier, but nobody spoke English and they just kept hanging up on me because I didn't know what they were saying in Italian. <laughs> so I'm going to look at the menu they have at the restaurant. If they don't have pizza on it, then I'm going to just order some um, at the front desk and have somebody help me out. So I'm still at my hotel. I'm so happy. I got all this food for 16 euros. I'm finally gonna try some pizza here. If I can get it open. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm really excited. This looks yummy. I honestly don't even know what type of pizza it is, but hey, it looks good. This is french fries. And then they gave me like three drinks. I got Fanta. The Fanta here is different than the one in the US. And then I don't know what this is. Oh, I think this is water. I think both of these are water. Maybe this is. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> I'm ready to eat. Yes, yes, yes. I just yes. checked out of my hotel. Now I'm about to get breakfast because it's included. I'm at the train station and I'm so confused because I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. And I'm low-key stressed, but I'm trying to stay calm because God got me. But this show be interesting. I'm just trying to get to the airport. So I left like four hours early because I don't know what, how long it's going to take, what's going on or where I'm going. But we'll see. <laughs> 